Hey folks, thanks for stopping by just cooking with the guys. Today, we've got a Boston butt or a pork roast, however you want to call it, that we're going to put on the old country smoker that we've got. Haven't used that thing in quite a while, but we're going to fire it up and cook a pork roast on that dude today. And we're going to do it Texas style. I've got salt and pepper and a few other things, a little paprika and some garlic powder and some onion powder. And we're going to use that as our seasoning on this thing cook it over some hickory wood and bring it up to a good temp of about 198 to 200 degrees and pull it off and let it rest for a while and get it good and tender and we're going to make some good pulled pork sandwiches. Now, if you're like me, I've heard a pork roast called a Boston butt a long, long time, but I never really thought about where the term come from. When you hear Boston butt, you might think that uh, that that pork roast comes from the butt of the pig, but actually it comes from the upper shoulder, the front shoulder of the pig. And where it got that name, Boston butt, uh, during the Revolutionary War and even pre-Revolutionary War, uh, the butchers in the Boston area would take pork roast and hams and pack them into barrels or uh, cask and would store them that way. Now, they call those barrels a butt, and that word is come from the Latin word, uh, and this is the East Texas uh, version of this word, is buttus, and it simply translates to barrel or a cask, and that's where the term came from, and it's blasted down through the years of this particular piece of pork being called a Boston butt. So here we go. Hang around. We're going to cook this thing. It's going to turn out great, and I know you're going to love it. So We'll see you back here tomorrow. about nine pounds of uh, pork roast here. We're going to cook. We're going to start off by patting this thing dry. Sometimes they're too small or pork roast in a package. I'm going to drain some of this fluid off of here. And I'm not sure if we have one hole or or two halves, looks like we got one hole. We'll pat this dude dry a little bit. And as I mentioned earlier, we're doing a Texas style pork roast. Got a nice fat cap on this, on this dude. We're gonna leave that on there. We're not gonna take any of that fat cap off Get our rub on here and we'll let it sit for a few minutes before we head out to the smoker. Get our smoker up to temp. Uh, we got a ways to go, I believe. Uh, we're 219. We're going to go to about 275. So we got a ways to go. I had a quick rinse. I mentioned Texas style. The rub I'm going to use is kind of a Texas style rub. Uh, I took a third of a cup of sugar, I'm sorry, a third of a cup of kosher salt, a third of a cup of coarse black pepper, one tablespoon of a smoked paprika, one teaspoon of a garlic powder, and one teaspoon of an onion powder. And that's what we've got. There's just a little bit of a red hint to that, not a lot. And that's kind of what we want. And this shaker, I'm not sure if it'll work well or not. We're gonna find out here. Might have to take the lid back off. Which I think I will. I wanna get a nice coating of this on here to try to create a little bit of a bark. We 
we'll get off all sides ends and when you get this seasoning on here we'll let it sit for a while give those uh, seasonings time to kind of marry up to the pork roast and then we'll put that dude on the smoker and let it go don't leave much of that behind you can kind of scrape it up and get it on your piece of pork Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a while. We'll come back in a few minutes and get it uh, get it on the smoker. So hang around. Okay, it's come a little bit of a mist and rain out here today. Uh, it's probably in the 40, upper 40s, maybe lower 50s. Not sure, but we got pawpaw fired up. Uh, our stick burning. We haven't used it in a while, but we're going to cook this uh, pork roast on pawpaw today. I'm going to go ahead and chuck him in here. Top rack up here. Close it down. I had my meat broke. Okay, I think we are good to go for a while. We're gonna close the lid. Let her cook. We'll be back to check over here in a bit. Keep my thermometer my covered up there so it doesn't get wet. So we'll be back. Lost a little temperature there, but it'll gain back. Stay with us, we'll be back. Reach that magic number 165. I'm gonna pull it, wrap it in full, and put it back on the smoker and cook it till about 198. 200 degrees somewhere around there so let's take a look and see what we've got here. And here's a good sign we need to take it and wrap it it's when the uh, fat starts cracking back I think I got more foil here Back in. Houston, we got a Close her back up and continue to cook that day. And we'll be back in a while and check it again when it gets closer to being done. Hang around. So I took this dude off the smoker at 198 degrees. It's been resting for about 45 minutes. Now if we did it right, we should be able to get this blade bone out of here with a very little effort. Let's see, it's still pretty warm, I don't know. Dude, it's still mucho caliente. There it is. Got 
feel like I probably should let this rest for a few more minutes to get it uh, cool enough that we can uh, pull it. But I sure do want a bite. And it is delicious. Moist, tender. We're gonna shred this dude up. So stick around. Be right back. Okay, so let's build this thing. See what we have wound up with here. We got some good Craig's barbecue sauce there. And let's put us Just a little bit of coleslaw on top of that thing. Like so. Gotta have a few pickles. And that looks good enough to eat. And I think I will here in just a second. Hang on, we'll give a taste test. Be right back. Okay. Let's chow into this big booger. That's some good sandwich right there, buddy, let me tell you. to try this recipe i think you'll enjoy it hey thanks for stopping by just cooking with the guys i appreciate you watching our videos if you haven't subscribed yet please do so hit that notification bell each time we do a new video you'll get a notification for now i'm gonna go eat a pork sandwich and i will see you